What does frugal mean to you? To me, frugal means saving money in smart and easy ways. Sometimes that can look a little silly. <laughs> but the point is that a little legwork can add up to huge savings with no impact to quality of life. The best and easiest way that I found to save money is by cutting down on monthly recurring expenses. So today I'll be sharing with you some of my top tips to save money on all things mobile. And I've arranged with a popular MBNO to give five of you awesome viewers two months worth of free cell phone service. But first, on to the tips. If you're low income, see if you qualify for free or heavily discounted cell phones and plans. If you're on Medicaid, SNAP, or make less than a certain amount, there's a federal program that gives you a phone and a plan. It varies greatly by state, but I believe this is very important for those that have very limited income and need to have a phone for emergencies and other things. There are several companies that work within this plan. Be sure to check for restrictions as well, since I've read that if you're getting a discounted landline already, it may disqualify you for the discounted cell plan. Know the areas you frequent and the carriers that offer good service in those areas. This map from Whistleout is an excellent free resource that offers a comparison between the big four companies. You can use this map and look down to your nearest block to see which carriers offer the best service for your area. You can also perform your own speed tests while in these areas. Download a speed test app and run your tests while in your most frequented areas. You can also view your phone's DP rating. Bars are not always a good indication of signal strength. Most cell phones will allow you to view your exact DBM rating. For iPhones, we can dial a particular sequence in order to view this data. And on Android, it's available by viewing settings and going to about phone, then network. We can see these numbers updating in real time and it gives us the most accurate indication of signal strength that I know of. This can be used in any judgment of how good the service is. Keep a list of the features that are important to you and your usage pattern. For us, I know that having a decent sized data plan and mobile hotspot capabilities are the most important. They allow us to stay close to work wherever we are. For you, it may be that you value phone minutes over data. So seek what is important to you and pay only for those. Also, keep track of usage over time. Most phones will do this for you automatically and you can see at a glance what your usage has been. On iPhone, we can reset usage statistics and on Android, we can enable tracking by month. If you're on the cusp of being able to use less data, for example, look to reduce your usage by turning off services and settings on your phone to help save data. This may mean that we'll be able to lower our monthly payment by needing to buy less. Whether we're on Apple or Android devices, we can pre-download large items while on Wi-Fi. Things like songs, podcasts, even maps can be downloaded and used offline. We can also throttle YouTube quality by setting HD to play on Wi-Fi only. For Apple specific settings, we can turn off all auto-syncing within specific apps, turn off Wi-Fi assist, turn off iCloud drive, turn off background refresh, Turn off cellular data for photo updates. In iTunes, we can turn off auto download of music and apps, disable downloads using cellular data, always ask to download on an app, enable video autoplay on Wi-Fi only. And if you have iOS 13, you can enable low data mode. On Android, we can turn on data limit warnings. In Google Play Store, we can update over Wi-Fi only. Chrome has a data saver setting, and there are many watchdog apps like My Data Manager, which is the most popular one out there, but there are many to choose from. These apps will allow you to control the applications that are using data and turn them on and off at your will. Always be on the lookout for new customer deals that fit your needs. Most companies offer new customers their best deals. Things like free phones or a lower rate during an introductory period, free months with purchase, the list goes on and on. Be prepared to do some work, whether that be research or staying on the line with customer service. We're saving money after all. 
And if we're able to save, say, $20 a month and invest that savings through the awesomeness of compound interest, that $20 a month invested with a return of 4% can give us a very nice return given enough time. Most of us have a phone number that we've had for years that we carry with us. For us, this is our old landline number. Friends from high school, our emergency numbers with my son's school, companies that we have long-term relationships with, they all have this number on file. It's a huge inconvenience to be constantly changing these. Our solution was to port this number to Google Voice. This is a one-time cost of $20, but it was money well spent for us. Google Voice can forward calls so that even if we get a new cell phone number, as long as we can figure it, we'll be able to get calls from our original number. This may be helpful too in signing up for new customer deals. We don't have to port our number from carrier to carrier and possibly miss any calls or texts during that transition time. Look for third-party deals for new signups as well. I've had luck with top cash back. When I signed up with our current carrier, I got $30 back on top of my already nice mobile deal. Some credit card companies also provide mobile phone protection. This can save us money on any issues that may come up with phones, such as cracks or even lost phones. Look to buy carrier unlocked phones, either new, refurbished, or secondhand. This allows us to freely move from provider to provider and not be locked into a contract or a carrier. Don't be afraid to ask friends or family either. Most of my family is very paranoid about data safety and rather than selling phones, they prefer to hand them down. My generous sister-in-law has been keeping me in old iPhones for years and I've been happily accepting them. We also do the same and keep passing phones around. Once the phones are at end of life, then it's recycle time. And don't be afraid to take advantage of loopholes by signing up for those new deals. We got this new unlocked phone valued at $500 for $150 by signing up with a new account at a major carrier. It was a bit of work with customer service and required some time on our part, but it was all above board and within their legal terms. It's been two years since we got this phone and it's still going strong. Look to MVNOs for cheaper service. MVNO stands for Mobile Virtual Network Operator. Most service is offered from the big four, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon, but they do sell their service in bulk to smaller companies who then pass the savings down to us, the customer. I've personally had great experience with Metro PCS and Mint, both of whom rent from T-Mobile, which has the best service in my area. If MVNOs are not for you, then at the very least, look to double dip on deals. For example, when I was on T-Mobile directly on their prepaid plan, I'd buy those gift cards from either Kroger or Staples when they were giving discounts or bonuses on purchases. For Kroger, I could get up to a dollar off per gallon of gas. And with Staples, I could earn credit card points faster. These are all necessities that that I'd have to pay for anyway. Might as well spend smart and get services and goods at a discounted rate. And if you do decide to switch, most companies offer a free trial period. During this period, go to all your destinations and speed test the dickens out of your service. Run speed tests and call that weird sequence of numbers and test, test, test. Make sure this service is right for you. All right, now on to the giveaway. What would you do with the money you could save from not having to pay your cell phone service for two whole months? Tello, an MVNO of Sprint, has generously offered to give five of you lucky viewers a 4 gigabyte data plan plus unlimited talk and text for two months free. Tello offers affordable, customizable plans for those of you in areas where Sprint has good reception. They support many phones and offer a compatibility check on their website. They have a four and a half star rating in Trustpilot after 5,000 reviews. Some highlights include no contracts, no fees, plans starting from $5. They also offer free mobile hotspot, the freedom to downgrade or upgrade your plan at any time, and free calls to Canada, Mexico, and China. In order to qualify, you must live in the United States and be 18 years or older. Be considered a new Tello customer. 
customer. Make sure you go through all the tips that I listed to make sure that Tello will work for you. You can visit their website directly and enter your address and zip code to see what the coverage looks like in your area. Couple that with the map from Whistleout and you'll have a very good educated start. Leave me the comment frugal wins down below. I'll be accepting entries for the next seven days and we'll choose five entries at random. Capitalization, punctuation, they don't matter. As long as you have the words frugal wins down below in the comments, then you're entered. The winners will receive a coupon code from Tello to redeem the free service. Once the title of this video no longer says open, the giveaway will be closed and I'll announce the winners in either a short video here on YouTube or a community post. All the links to the sites that I referenced will be linked down below along with some additional details that might help you out in your research. This would be a really great way to save money for the holidays so that we can bless others. Two whole months worth of service. What would you do with the savings? I'm so excited to be able to offer something of monetary value to you. I'm grateful you're here and chose to spend time with me here on this platform. You matter. I appreciate you and consider making a call to someone you lost touch with just to say hi. Thanks for watching and I wish you happy mobile phoning. Bye.